A group of little leaguers is feeling like a million bucks these days. The 11 and 12 year olds from South Nashville, only two wins away from a trip to the World Series in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. But first, the Southeast Regional Semifinals in Warner Robins, Georgia. Florida jumps on top 1 0 after the first inning, but Blake Money in the batter's box in the top of the second. He has a brother named Cash, by the way, not making this up. Couple of runners on, and he delivers with a big hit up the middle. Both runners are on their way home. A nice way to answer that early deficit. They're now in front 2 1. Now 3 1 in the fifth, Knox Preston at the plate. Favorite subjects, geography, and he loves the amount of real estate Zane Denton covers. Stole in base, ball gets away. Chris McElvain scores to make it 4 1, but wait, there's more. Ball gets away again. Here comes Denton for another South Nashville run. They're starting to feel it as they extend their lead to 5 1. That was plenty for starting pitcher Ben Pickman. He goes the distance, only allowing six hits and striking out 12 batters. This ends it. South Nashville beats Stewart, Florida 5 1. A well deserved celebration for the kids. South Nashville will face Virginia in the regional championship game Friday night, 6 p.m. The game will be televised by ESPN, which is great news for a lot of fans around here. Right, Scott? Well, you are so right, Paul. South Nashville rallying around this home team every step of the way. In fact, this afternoon, their fans gathered at the Cross Corner Barn Grill to watch the big win over that Florida team. Parents who couldn't actually make the trip help to energize this crowd. And we've packed this with a lot of these guys, buddies from school, their neighbors, their friends, people that care about these kids and want to see them be successful. Some of the parents that had to be here taking care of other kids or working and doing other things, they're here tonight. So it, it's just a great crowd. We Parents were quickly uh, pointing out that all this wouldn't be possible if not for donations from the community to help cover things like uniforms and travel costs.